is uh, day one of our yard diary and um, so this morning before we got lifted we took the sails off um, that's a precaution really more than anything else um, apparently sometimes if there's a high wind the, furl the sails can get unfurled and um, basically it's enough to um, knock you off your stand so sails are off so um so they're off um we need to lash them up to the lash them a bit better than we've got them at the moment but it was just a case of get them down get them rolled get them sorted we've been lifted and we're now um servicing the engine now we have serviced the engine quite recently just before we went off actually but we just decided that um because um Oh, we've just used the engine an awful lot, um, especially the uh, passage coming down to Liverpool, um, just to um, change the oils, change the filters, change everything, um, because we're also getting some extra work done on the engine, and this is a good place to start. Okay, so the first thing that needs to get done is, you see this um, oil here? This is from our impeller we had this issue before and we're just not satisfied with it so um we've still got the, the leak we've also got salt crystals here don't know why i was showing you that tiny bit of salt crystals look at all those down there well my stepper's gone but that means i can get to the impeller to do the job I needed a short spanner so now I have two short spanners <laughs> how did that happen okay don't tell me I'll guess yeah was the word angle grinder used it certainly was but I've got the short spanner now so there was blood sweat and tears were there oh yeah, there was lots of blood, sweat and tears, but um, we managed to uh, remove the impeller pump. Again? Again, but um, it just still leaked even after we put the oil seal in. And we've just removed it and um, I can see, understand why it leaked. The oil, seal, the oil seal that we put in is actually dissolved. So no wonder it leaked. Or maybe it just left a gap somewhere for the oil to get through? Yeah, it's left a gap. I'm just, um, my job for the day is uh, to sort out um, our life raft, which I'm sending to Norwest Marine, and my washing, of which I've got one or two bags. I've got um, this piece of cloth into my rudder. Now, <laughs> we know Bavaria <laughs> and it's a Bavaria with a spade rudder and so the common legend is quite simply your rudder is going to split down the middle, it'll fall apart, it's a spade rudder, it'll get whacked by something, it'll drop off. Bavaria rudders drop off all the time, so we're told. I think what's happened is somebody has bought into that and they've drilled a perfectly circular hole in the rudder to inspect it to see if what's inside it and things like that see if water comes gushing out by the gallon then they filled it with silicon i mean domestic silicon which of course then lets water into the rudder because it's not a good seal so there's a tiny dribble in this there's n there's some damp inside it but it's not a lot you will always get damp inside a rudder just given the nature of the thing it usually come in through the rudder posts at the top um so i've got this piece of cloth to draw the moisture out the moisture comes out and the wind then dries it off here it helps dry this out i've already dished this this is no longer flat like that it now goes like that so that when this is dry i can fill this full of epoxy filler sand it all down get a copper coat repair kit and just touch this up and we'll have to get that done but yeah if you're going to drill an inspection hole in your rudder at least fill the darn thing properly please and um unlike the urban legend my Bavaria that drops rudders off because they're spade rudders and they get bent and all the rest of it 
it's doing just fine, the bearings are just fine, there's no splits in the rudder and we're happy apart from this little doodah and we'll get that sorted out so put this back in now. Just me having a rant. Well, yesterday I uh, started the washing. I've got about half of it done and then my washing machine packed up. So, <laughs> but there is actually one on order so uh, hopefully washing machine washing will get done. But while I was doing that, Beverly has removed the solar panels. Not oh. the good, not the good new ones. Oh no, not the new ones. The old ones is one of the things that when we came on board, we just looked at them and thought they've got to go. <laughs> We've owned Salty Last for three years, and they're finally gone. So I'm going to clean up all this, just so that picking it's... picking off more of the previous owner's silicon. Yeah, but I love doing things like this. This is a, this is a job for me. Bev's um, likes to do the bigger jobs. I'm a fine detail girl. But one of the things I'm going to be using is WD-40 um, because we have actually tried it on a different silicon and it actually removes it quite good. But we'll see if this if it does a good job on this. But we'll report back in about two hours probably. Is this a paid promotion? Has WD-40 given us free samples? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> We've had to shell out again, haven't we? To say yes. Yes, we're shelling out for all sorts, but do you know what? If, if a product's good, it's a product's good. You know, end of. Well, it's nice to see Gainer enjoying herself, having a bit of fun. Well, for once in the UK history, the sun, the sun stopped play, so uh, um, I couldn't finish off my job upstairs. It was just too hot, so I'm down here in the engine compartment. Um, you know, just we changed the filters, even though we don't really need to do so. We've changed them because we were right down at the bottom of the tank, and. Um, you know, we're in the yard, so why not do them now and then we won't have to worry about them for the rest of the season. Well, happy days. Um, our new impeller um, water pump has come through. Um, basically, one of the reasons that we were getting the oil leak was that the shaft was wobbling um, and that just caused the oil leak. Um, so we've got a brand new one, but before I fit it, um, I've got to remove the uh, step yet again. And I'm also going to check that the um, spares that we have for the impeller fit. Because there's um, with the impeller that we have, there's uh, two types. And one is 12.4 mils and the other one is 12 mils. Now, it doesn't sound like an awful lot, 0.4. But as somebody who's got the 0 0.4 mils, trust me, it's a lot. Because the 12 just does not fit. So I've got to check that my spares actually work. Okay. I did have a go, didn't I, Bev? Yep, yeah, but sadly you need somebody with smaller hands. Yeah, but um, the salty last way is to always at least have a go. Which I have done, but as Bev says... She's got some very, very skinny wrists, whereas mine like tree trunks. <laughs> In the engine, we've got a really nice seawater pump, but one of the reasons we can't splash is also in here. Where is it? It's back there somewhere. You can just about see it. We have a hose. Um, and we have nothing attached to the hose. That's the seawater intake. And we're still waiting on that, but we can't splash until that's sorted. So what have you been doing, Beverly, on the uh, prop? Um, the prop has been given a coat of Trilux on the blade. Last time we Triloxed that, we Triloxed the, blade, uh, the cone, but we didn't do the blade because we were told not to. And as you can see, the prop got absolutely covered in barnacles.
the high speed areas where the prop turns fastest from here out were barnacle free but all the barnacles sit in this area here and they add a lot of weight and they unbalance the prop and make it vibrate it's not good um, now I've been told the antifoil will come off fair days but I'm willing to bet it'll come off in the high speed area and not in the low speed area because if the barnacles survived in here I'm willing to bet this stuff will survive in here too and this is where I need the antifoil because this is where the barnacles live I'm not too fussed about the outside of the blade it goes quick and stays clean so we'll see how it does when we get it out in a year or two and when it really the next time is We've got the keel the anti-foul, we've got the stripe, the water stripe the anti-foul, but that's all in the future. Okay, so what are you doing, Beth? I'm trying to look at the mess, which is our UFO vent. I mean, somebody with a love affair of silicon obviously went to town on it. And I'm just debating whether or not I'm going to actually do something with it or just rip it out completely and replace it because it's it's quite worn. There's this, there's this ventilator strip which is probably meant to stop insects and things and it's completely gunked. I don't know whether it can be cleaned or not. The plastic looks like it's very UV damaged and brittle, but the nightmare is what's been done with silicon around the edges. It is an absolute disgrace. So I'll do what I can to clean it up. I'll do that this afternoon and we'll see how it works out. Why are you looking so pleased, Bev? <laughs> the UFO vent is finally fixed. We bought a new one. It was the easiest thing. Um, a new one that's not UV damaged and is nice and clean and it's on deck and it's not covered in silicon like the last one was so we've got great hopes. The only problem we had was they provide it to go through the deck which it did but our deck is there then we have a gap about that size and then we have the inner skin for the um, saloon area and so we needed a pipe to join the two. Uh, an old lemonade bottle cut and made to shape worked absolutely perfectly and it was free because we drank the lemonade. So it, it doesn't take any stress, it's got nothing to do, it just has to direct a bit of air up and down. So we've got great hopes for it and let's hope it all works out. The one thing I'm really, really pleased about is um, before we just seemed to be um, Silicon City and um, now there's actually a physical gap, isn't there, Beverly? There is, and I'm just wondering whether to take the screws back out and put a few nuts down, you know, just to I'll give like a pressure fitting. Mm. I don't know, I'll think about it. Well. I've uh, removed all the silicon off the um, from the solar panels and X solar panels X solar panels and I can say that the WD40 did dissolve the uh, silicon to some extent but realistically that was actually the bad move it was much easier to remove the silicon mechanically and having it sort of like dissolve slightly it just spread it around go <laughs> quick talk well, too late <laughs> i'm removing the traveler on it right hopefully we can hear you over the wind farm boat being d barnacles so what's well, going hopefully. on um i'm removing the traveler this is also that i can remove our garage roof just so that i can get rid of the straps just so that I can put a new cradle, which will be our next little purchase from our YouTube earnings. <laughs> so a little treat to our boat, and it'll be a cradle. <laughs> For the life raft. For the life raft. But, um, you know, got to get rid of all these straps, got to clean it all up. You know, it's just non-stop cleaning. 20 years of rubbish then. Yeah, if I thought the... Um, Garage roof was bad. <laughs> it's been silly. Look at the state of this. But uh, you know, it's a takeaway thing. Yeah, Portland's chippy. Don't know where that is. Apparently, it's well famous. Apparently, to this. <laughs> yeah, it's so famous you can find leaflets for it inside garage covers. Basically, yes. a few receipts. I think they're way past their sell by. But all this just to get rid of all this horrible strapping. I think you've got a major cleaning job in your hands. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to be cleaning now. Leave you to it. Well, it's the end of our first week on the yard and we've um, done one of our personal days, which is getting our second jab done. So the Salty Lass is both vaccinated, double vaccinated. We're double vaccinated. The girls on the Salty Lass are now double vaccinated. Uh, our orders are starting to come in. 
we've got a vent coming but the one of the things that we were hoping to get done here um, which is our depth gauge and fixing that it's completely order a new one then yep it's order a new one for that so but it is what it is that's life